If you want to see how I transform my car from this to this, then keep on watching. Today, I'm bringing you a DIY car makeover, the young lady business way. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kayla and in today's video as I already mentioned I'm bringing you guys a DIY car transformation You guys right now I'm showing you all all the dings and dents and rusty spots that my car has It was in dire need of a makeover. My car has been through so much on the outside and on the inside I mean this thing was dirt Tea. Okay, so I really needed to do something about it and this was just the perfect time for me to take on this project Right now, I'm just showing you guys what I'm working with. There's a lot of filthy Dirty grimy spots all over this vehicle. It is quite embarrassing, but hey, let's keep it real This is real this is what I've been riding in for quite some time now. This is actually my very first car and my first ever car. I got it in 2018, paid for it all cash. It was about $1,100, really great price from um, a lady down in Florida. And when I bought it, the car only had 30,000 miles on it. So this little thing is gonna be running for hopefully quite some time and I really love my car but ever since I bought it I wanted to transform it I wanted to paint it I just wanted to make it more me and I'm so happy that I'm finally getting the opportunity to do that So now that you guys know what I'm working with, we can finally begin cleaning. I got a big trash bag and I'm literally throwing all the bottles, receipts, ketchup packets, yes, ketchup packets, into a garbage bag so I can get this car prepped for vacuuming. It hurts so much to think of you as someone else. Can't get also, you guys, please don't come for me down in the comments, okay? Look, I am I know my car looks bad, and that's why we are here today to fix it. If you are also needing a makeover for your car, comment down below to let me know I am not the only one whose car sometimes gets dirty and filthy. So now that all the trash is out of the car, I can begin vacuuming, and this is one of my favorite parts that I found so satisfying. Wasn't that so satisfying? I don't know. It's just something about seeing a space getting clean. Like I love the pressure washing videos, and I also love the detail, um, the detailing videos that people do on cars as well, which is also what inspired me to do this video. I watch Detail Geek and Shoffer's Garage here on YouTube, and they have some really great content. So if you haven't checked it out, please do. And right now, I'm going to be using my Bissell Little Green Spot Cleaner to get all of those stains, those nasty stains, out of my seats. And I'm going to use this OxyClean um, stain remover with foam to um, help me out. Again, that was super satisfying. I love seeing the dirt getting sucked up into this Bissell spot cleaner. Um, and also, you guys, I really don't know where this stain even come, came from. Like, I have no idea, but I am happy to see it's gone because it's been a long time coming. Thank you. 
If you have stains in your car like me or in your carpet or anywhere, I totally recommend this machine. It got the job done, okay? But there were some areas that I had to do a second coat over and that's what you guys see me doing right now. But it is sucking up that dirt and I just, I'm so impressed with this machine. I got it from Walmart, it was only $79. So if you can find one, I would definitely recommend this. And so now we're moving into the back seats. I wanna get those cleaned as well because there were some nasty stains back there too. But you guys, let's do a little chatting in the comments. I told you guys that this is my first car. It's a 1996 Toyota Tercel. And I wanna know what was your first car ever? Let me know down in the comments so we can chat about it. Okay, so I finished up all the seats and now I moved on to the floors. The floors surprisingly weren't that dirty, so that was pretty good. And I just took my time cleaning all of the floors throughout the whole car, despite them not being dirty, just so everything can be sanitized and fresh. gross right I know <laughs> that was all of the dirty water that the Bissell sucked out of this car I'm happy it's out of the car but yeah that was crazy so anyway now I am using my Q Redo hair steamer to help me clean off the surfaces within my car I got that tip from the detail geek here on YouTube he uses a steamer as well to help him remove some of those sticky spots from his car so now we are ready to prep for paint. I am using some painter's tape and newspaper to begin taping off the edges of my car because I really want to protect the glass and all of the like grayish black pieces that you guys see such as on my um, rear view mirrors, my handles and things of that nature. All right, and now it is time to begin sanding. I'm using this sander from Walmart. I got it years ago, so I can't quite remember the price, but it's really inexpensive. And I'm also using some sandpaper from Walmart. Again, very, very inexpensive. I think it was like three bucks, and I'm using a, I think a 120 grit or either a 180 grit to um, sand off some of this paint. Now, I'm not trying to get it to the bare bones, definitely not, but I'm just lightly going over it so that the spray paint I'm using will be able to adhere to the actual car. For the moment you guys have all been waiting for we are finally about to begin to paint this car i am using the rust-oleum gloss protective enamel in the color light turquoise i got it off amazon and i was able to get six cans for 25 dollars so the link will be in the description box if you are interested And just out of curiosity, you guys, would you ever paint your car? Let me know down in the comments. And if you would paint your car, what color would you paint it? This Rust-Oleum line has tons of different colors. So let's do some chatting in the comments.
So I was loving the results, you guys, but my fingers and my body were so dead. I mean, my fingers were hurting so bad from holding down that trigger on the spray paint nozzle. It was terrible, but I had to push through because I wanted to get this job done. But I will admit that I took several breaks throughout this whole entire process. So, and sometimes I even sat on the ground because I was just tired and I was hot. <laughs> So anyway, that's what you see me doing right now, but I am in love, I mean in love with this color. It is so me, it is so me, I am obsessed. Losing attention, baby, I swear, I give you my tomorrow, forever and now, I'll never bring you sorrow, so don't let me down. I chase away your shadows Away from the crowd I give you my tomorrow Forever now Okay, and this is the part that I am so happy about. My mom and dad actually had one of these um, assisters that helps you, you know, use the spray cans. So I was super happy about that. Everything got so much easier, so much faster. My hands weren't throbbing anymore. And the results, they even started to look better to me because I was getting more of a consistent finish throughout. Losing attention and baby, I swear I give you my tomorrow Forever and now I'll never bring you sorrow So don't let me down You guys, I just absolutely love doing DIY projects. It's just something about making a car, a bathroom, anything look 10 times better than it did before. And that's exactly how this makeover was turning out. I was super impressed with the color and the results. And so now what I'm about to do is peel off all the tape and the newspaper that I had put down to protect the glass and other plastic elements on my car. And I also wanted to mention really quickly that there was a couple imperfections after we peeled off the tape, a couple of areas that the spray paint either didn't hit or it hit too much of. So if you run into any issues like that after spray painting your car, you can use acetone to help you clean up any messes that you might make. So pretty and my dad came up with the name cotton candy for her what do y'all think down in the comments below and if you have a name for your car I want to know what it is I've never named my car before but her name for sure is Miss Cotton Candy how do you like it and now we are about to begin decorating you guys I didn't go too crazy with the decorations this is my car and I've had trouble with keeping it clean <laughs> so I just wanted to keep it as simple as possible so I bought that um, string wheel cover off Amazon and also these little fake succulents off Amazon as well they are meant for your vehicle and you can hang them from your rearview mirror they also come with hooks so this is also my favorite car scent and I also bought some new floor mats from Walmart for $20 All right, y'all, it is almost time for the big reveal. But before we get into it, I just want you guys to take a look at what this car used to look like before I got started. It was filthy, dirty, and grimy, dented, and rusty. <laughs> and now for the final results.
Star Transformation. You guys gotta tell me what you think of this baby. She's so cute and I love it. I hope you guys like it too. This honestly was a lot of hard work, but I'm so glad that I did it. Like I mentioned, I have been wanting to paint this car for so long now and I am, I am obsessed. Obsessed. Like every time I look at her, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I love it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that this DIY inspired you to do something creative and fun in your own life. Again, comment down below how I did. Please like this video. Every thumbs up I get helps me out so, so much. Like it really, really does. And then if you can also share the video, like send this video to somebody else who needs to clean their car and get their car looking good, okay? So anyways, bye y'all, just so happy. And oh, comment down below. Do you like her name, Cotton Candy? Let's get into it in the comments. Bye guys. And one last thing, do not forget to subscribe to Young Lady Business. Bye. For real this time.